This is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about astrology and about the upcoming new moon. This upcoming new moon is on the 16th of October. It's in the sign of Libra and the, um, the energies of the new moon are basically affecting us not on exactly that day but about five to ten days prior and five to ten days after October 16th and that's why I'm talking about this now. Um, Libra is the sign of balance, harmony, love, cooperation, collaboration, things like this. But on the other hand, we have Mars in Aries and that says, I, me, my, I want it my way. <laughs> so we are torn between these two aspects. Um, Mars in Aries is saying something like, um, I want it my way and I want it the traditional way. Everything should stay the way it is. And Libra is more like, like rattling the fence saying yeah but maybe what we've done in the past is not useful anymore in the future so on the one hand we have this Mars aspect saying I need to win I need to beat you I need to have the better house and the better car than you and then there's Libra saying no we all have to hold hands and live in eternal peace and harmony and maybe we join in together in a commune where we share everything <laughs> So it's like total opposites <laughs> and these total opposites that we have in the sky actually already exist here on planet earth in our reality. We have these extreme opposites of Trump and Biden, pro-mask and anti-mask, pro-vaccine and anti-vaccine, pro-life and pro-abortion, uh, pro this and uh, pro that. <laughs> so we have so much of the energy of being divided into sever separate groups uh, that the, the whole pot, the whole cooking pot is starting to get bubbles and to get really hot and get steamy because we are so divided. And now Libra is coming in like um, saying, wait a moment, maybe we can just join our hands together and find a way to cooperate, find a way to, f to make a compromise. And Aries is saying, no, 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 I want it just the way I want it and not like you want it. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be challenging times, not only in October, but also November and December are going to be a little bit tough because um, let's face it on... Uh, October 23 we are changing into Scorpio which is uh, giving even more fuel to this whole fire and cooking and steamy pot okay we have a Capricorn aspect and this Capricorn aspect is about authorities institutions traditions it's basically a little bit like the Hierophant card in tarot and these old institutions and authorities are now being questioned. People are starting to wonder, are these old regulations that we always had still going to be useful in the future? Um, so it's like the energy of rattling the, the bars behind which you have been trapped. It's, it's shaking the fence, you know, asking, wait a moment, I've been enslaved here for so long, I have enough of this, I want to get out. We, we need to break the shackles, yeah? So the feelings that we have to be prepared to feel around this time is anger, um, maybe even rage. Yeah, you're gonna see people on TV being in rage. Uh, you're gonna see things like or feeling like uh, revenge and retaliation. People are gonna get the feeling of I, I really want to pay it back to the other one then there is a lot of separation and duality. So these are the things that we are going through as a collective. Yeah, we're gonna see it everywhere. And what can we do about it? Number one is we can avoid knee-jerk reactions because uh, the, the knee-jerk reaction is always to point the finger. So if you are, let's say, that we have a Trump and a Biden fan and the Trump fan thinks he's right and the Biden th uh, fan thinks he is right. So if they talk to each other, their knee-jerk reaction is going to be like, you are wrong, no, you are wrong, you are wrong, no, you are wrong. <laughs> and where does it lead? Absolutely nowhere. <laughs> So we can avoid the knee-jerk reaction of just pointing a finger and saying the other person is wrong. What we can do instead is just say, I honor your opinion. I don't share it, but I honor that you tell me your opinion, fine. 
Yeah, and that's the end of the discussion. There is no more need to discuss anything because if two people have a different opinion, then that's the way it is. And we don't have to waste our time trying to convince another person of our opinion. Yeah, It's not about not expressing yourself. Of course you can express yourself. Of course you can post on your social media whatever you want. Yeah, If you're a Trump or a Biden fan, post whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, with the current... Um, censoring going on probably you can't <laughs> but but yeah that's the world we live in right now we don't have freedom of speech anymore it's just dead there is just censorship over censorship over censorship and uh yeah that's the time we are living in right now and that's what we have to uh, live with and accept right now so another thing that we can do in order to feel better is um Stop letting ourselves be divided into groups. As I told you before, we have the pro and anti groups and it's it's just getting into, it's just starting to get ridiculous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what we can do as well is we can start taking better care of ourselves rather than running around and pointing fingers to the outside and saying everyone around us is wrong. We can just stay at home and think of ourselves, you know, um, pamper ourselves, take good care of ourselves in terms of nutrition, in terms of training, in terms of mindfulness, whatever it is for you. But we can just focus on the inside rather than the outside and the finger pointing. So a little tip also for the Leos among you. This new moon uh, is in your third house. So it means that it's a good time for learning, for studying, for acquisition of new skills and also for sharing information and connecting with other people and communicating with others. But that's only a little thing for the Leos right here. Now that I've been talking a lot about <laughs> the new moon energy in general, we will go into your reading and I will ask the angel answer oracle what the angels have to say around this new moon. The card that just fell is be assertive. So if we have an opinion, we don't have to force it on onto somebody else. But if somebody else keeps on picking and poking us, like, uh, you know, uh, getting on our nerves with his opinion or her opinion and trying to convince us of this, be assertive. Say, I don't believe you. I'm sorry. And I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm just not reacting to anything. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to the conversation, but no thank you. I'm not taking that bait. <laughs> so be assertive. What does it say? Let's see in the booklet. Be assertive. This situation calls for you to take matters into your own hands. You must get clear on your personal feelings and then pursue the fulfillment of your desires with courage and self-confidence. Ask for what you need without watering down your requests in order to satisfy others. Wow. Remember that seeing your own needs is nothing to apologize for. Set boundaries with those around you in order to create a safe and fair environment. Tailor your actions so that you earn the respect from others you deserve and then move forward. So this card again is talking about a safe and fair environment. And that's exactly what Libra would like to have. The Libra energy is about I want peace. I want love. I want harmony. I want everybody to get along. Yeah. But we need to have boundaries. We can't just let other people roll over us like a truck and then expect to be respected. That just doesn't work. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I shouldn't even talk about it because I am very bad at setting boundaries. <laughs> so my, my personal things here always end bad. <laughs> But at least there is a little reminder that we all have to learn it and we all can work on it. We all can get a little better. And yeah, for those of you who already are very good at being assertive and having boundaries, congratulations. I absolutely adore you. <laughs> now let's see if the angel cards of Doreen Virtue have another advice for us. Angels and spirit guides, please let me know if there is anything important for us for this upcoming new moon. Anything important for this upcoming new moon. General reading, please, for everybody. Da -da 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 there we go. It jumped right out. 
And we have the 10 of action. Okay, I show you the picture here. It says you work too much. The angels are asking you. Find a good work-life balance. Be ready to ask others for help to reduce your own weight so that you feel better and you can take care of your own self. Um, always trying to make others happy can ruin your health in the long run. So this is like the Ten of Wands in the Tarot. It says um, we should take a step back and pamper ourselves because we have been very, very busy with all of that fighting energy that I was telling you about, you know, um, being torn into so many different groups, yeah, the left and the right and women and men and the old generation versus the young generation and blah, blah, blah. And being so divided in a society so divided is very, very tough because there are conflicts at at every end you know wherever you look conflict 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 opinion here opinion there <laughs> so it's a very tough time and this card is really telling us okay let's stop engaging in all the fighting stop finger pointing stop knee-jerk reactions rather let's go inward and care for our own selves and our own health what can i eat today that i'm healthy what can i write or paint or do today that is healthy for me yeah that's where, where the focus should be right now. So I hope this reading was helping you a little bit. I'm sorry for being so energetic today. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Other, other readings of me are really calm and really nice. And today I'm like, woo, <laughs> as if I had 10 coffees, but I didn't have coffee, I swear. <laughs> okay. If you like the reading, please like, comment, share, and hit that little subscribe button. I'm always happy about that. And I still answer every single comment. Bye.